I looked long and hard to find a video like this. So now that I've got it disassembled, we're going to go through how to put together a candy top loader washing machine to reassemble the lid and the electric parts. The first thing you'll notice is we've had to remove the catch which is attached to this top plate. This top plate is what broke on our previous machine. This also is attached to this device which simply pops in and can be squeezed to pop out. When removing this front one, simply unscrew it and push this area to then pull it out from its casing, which you will see is over there. So as we then put it in, it will simply slide in and that piece clips in over there. The front clip simply slides into place. The auto thing simply clips in there. Now make sure that you pull your cables out to be able to attach them to the electronics at the end. We'll have a look at that in a bit more detail shortly. Now you will notice that I put a towel in here. If you get anything through, say a screw or something like that, you don't want it to fall into the bottom of that drum. You will not get it out. What you will notice when you come to remove this top plate is that it does not simply lift off. There are small gaps there and there are little hooks underneath that fit in and slide into place. So simply do that when you're pulling it out by sliding it back and forth. Now you may have to jiggle it around a little bit and pull in the sides to make sure that it fits properly and just push it down make sure that it gets into place. When removing it it does slide off quite easily and then lift off held by these two attachments that we spoke about. Now once you've done this you will be put first putting in a screw in the front here and in the front here. Now this screw is to hold that uh, connector piece and this screw is to hold your water inlet. So once you have that screw in place and those screws in place you can bring up the rubber and then we will fit the inner piece. At the same time you can also fit your screws that hold this down. There are four screws that go in there. So once those screws are in place then we're going to fit this piece simply by lifting up the rubber and getting that in and around. Now it is a little bit tight but that is a, a good thing and you'll notice that there are holes along the way here. Um, those will be for your final screws. So I just realized an error. This screw does not go directly because there is a hole over here. So undo that if you've done it and once you put this in again then you can screw it in properly. So once all of those screws are in all the way around just tuck in your rubber gasket and you are good to go on this end. Next thing we will look at putting together our electricals. Now your electrical panel is one of the first challenges that you're going to find. It's pretty simple but it's quite tricky to remove because it's got these little hooks here that there we go. You'll notice when they are on, they hook into and under the frame. 
So when you are removing this panel, you want to just simply lift it and rotate it and these little hooks will be able to come out quite well. This is a bit tiff, stiff, but no problem. Now you'll notice that there are four connectors on this side. One of them goes there and then you've got a 2, 3, 2 connection. And on this side you have a broad panel and a small panel together. These simply slide on and slide off. These ones here do require a bit of a push uh, with a screwdriver into the pin and they are very stiff to get out. But don't be afraid to pull them and try not to cut your thumb like I did. One small but clever detail to note is the way that the electricians have pinned these. There are four pins on it, but only one is keyed. So this key is different to the one for this key is different to this, so they cannot be put in incorrectly. It's always a good idea to work with good light, as you can see. But uh, once those have been reconnected, we can simply push this panel back down into place. This is then fitted with a screw at the back end, over here and here, and then we will be good to go and put the lid on. When it comes to putting on and taking off the lid, there are simply two pins that will fit into these holes over here, and then it will go over these joints here. Now this is what broke on our previous machine, uh, which, or previous uh, top part, which is what spurred replacement. So as that slots behind, then we simply grab our pins, which we've carefully put where we remember, and they go through these holes and then are simply pushed into place. Now removing them simply requires a screwdriver to wedge in carefully and pull them out nice and gently. So, once you've pushed those pins back into place, it did require a bit of maneuvering to get it lined up, you can simply remove your stopper and wham, bam, thank you ma'am! That is how you repair, or at least put back the lid, for a Candy Smart Touch CST360 LS machine. And once you've remembered to clip in your soap holder thing, you're good to kick back, relax, and do a load of laundry after a hard day's work.